Hello, my Sagittarians, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. My name is Christopher Watecki, your host to the universe. And for only one more week, I am holding my special, the Mercury Retrograde Spring Reading Special. If you buy one hour, you'll get a free 30-minute follow-up sometime this year, which is extremely valuable, trust me. Once things start manifesting for you, usually you want to check in with me, and this is a way you can do it quickly. And don't forget, we got a whole community of light workers ready to support you. It's a collaborative effort at soulgarden.me. The soul behind your face, right? <laughs> or Facebook. Come hang out, set up a profile so we can get in touch with you if shift hits the fan. Now, it's actually a fun month, I think, for the Sagittariuses. You are doing a profound amount of work on your inner child. Over the last weekend, you might have had a quantum leap in understanding something about your heart. It might have built up to that moment. Now, heart meaning what your heart really wants or create a project your heart wants. We're talking about your inner child, frankly. Everyone has a child alive inside of them. Maybe the weekend was about you discovering that truth, that you have a delicate gem inside of you that you have to consciously protect and also inspire on your own, right? If you had good parents, they did it. Even if you had good parents, you still have to do it unless you're still living at home, right? So this week, as we begin, we're moving through chapter one of Sun in Aries, and we're moving forward from whatever your leap was. If you realize it's time to follow your heart or you're ready for love or you're not in love with the person you're living with, whatever the quantum leap was, money's about finding a little bit of restoration and peace with Venus ruling the day. And the moon is in Taurus on this day and crossing over Jupiter. So by recognizing this part of your inner child, you're at the same time feeling the new life, feeling a new life coming into play, feeling a new reality coming into play. And your emotions are catching up with that reality. Your body will catch up with that reality if you've not been treating it nicely. So imbalance could have a mal effect with emotions hitting. This red square means, hey, to follow your dreams means, yes, you've got to gamble on what you're worth. Yes, money, 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 money. That thing that's been beating you on the head for about 10 years and it's going to continue, it feels like. But it, uh, it is a fear that comes up and must be faced. The soul pyramid does light up from the moon hitting it, and this soul pyramid ends at the end of the week. We'll talk more about that. On Tuesday, it's a Neptune day. This is kind of a God day, a psychic day, a day where we log into our higher self. We get our intuition from the universe. Funny enough, the universe creates a uh, diluted yod. What is a diluted yod? Well, first of all, a yod is called the finger of God, which is an isosceles triangle up in space, basically a rare uh, transit that means the universe is putting a lot of a, a point or pointing at the finger. It's the finger of God going, God going, look at this. This is what you need to focus on right now, or this is where it's all going to go down. This actually began during the quantum leap over the weekend. So I failed to see it until now, frankly, to be honest with you, because uh, there's so much going on. But nonetheless, it's actually a diluted yacht. It should come to one point, but these planets kind of conjunct according to orb. So this is just saying, hey, Sag, your inner child is very important. And you have to rethink about what you need to do to take care of yourself. Because you have a gem that needs to be grown into a, a king or a queen, an inner prince or princess needs to be grown, uh, you need to rethink about what that means for self-nurturing. What special needs does your creativity have? What special care needs does your love life need? 
right? All of it is part of that. And at the same time, the moon moves into Gemini, so love life becomes a big part of it. You'll become sentimental. Emotions now shift to relationships and out of the body in Gemini. So on Tuesday, it's very spiritual relationship and relationship to yourself. Now, don't forget, on Tuesdays, we have our Soul Mart office hours where our practitioners come to the mothership and give free readings for 15 minutes on camera. Plus, we have a whole bunch of people in chat, including myself. Usually, I pop in, and we're just all helping each other go through issues. And this is a great spiritual day to do it. Come on down Tuesday or Thursday, 11 a.m. Pacific. Figure out where you are in the world according to that. Wednesday is hump day. It really is hump day. You have to make decisions on Wednesday. The decision is to step away from the old story, the old inner child story. So if that story was you became a lawyer when you wanted to be a rock star, that's fine, but let's step away from it. Let's say it's gone. Let bygones be bygones. In a way, it's a day of, you know, for, if not forgiving, at least forgetting. Right, So you make decisions to cut away. At the same time, Mercury is also calling for you to make some new decisions about self-nurturing, the self-nurturing consequences of honoring your heart. So those two things come to a head on Wednesday. The moon's still on Gemini, so this may all be playing out in your head as a relationship change with a female or a male, right? Uh, and if that's the case, cool. Just realize it's really about what your heart wants and the fact that you're playing out in relationships is your choice and where you want to learn the lesson. Now, moving on to Thursday, you act. Thursday is going to be a day of maybe a little hyper anxiety for you. The moon in Gemini kind of heats things up. There's fear going on. These, these red lines mean fear. All right, so you've got the fear of can I afford this, following my dreams, and you've got these fears going, can I really pull off marriage, or can I have the marriage, or will this affect my marriage, or if I tell my wife I'm going to be a rock star, is she going to leave me, right? That's what this is with the moon in Gemini. So uh, shaking it off, trying to bust through the fear on Thursday. Now, to coach you along, those of you that I'm watching over personally for only $4.95 a week, if you are watched over by GA, I'll be sending you personal texts on Thursday uh, that get to what it takes your personality to find the courage. At the end of the day, a lot of courage comes from finding a story inside of us. And I'm going to remind you what your story is on Thursday. Then on Friday, Friday, check this out. God was given this finger, now God gives this finger. We've got a new true yod that points up to Saturn. So the universe is going, okay, after all that, <laughs> yes, God is a gay choreographer. I don't know what that was. And after all that, Saturn retrograde uh, says, okay, if this is all going to happen, that does mean you're going to have to make a few minor touches on how you see yourself in the world, how you see yourself among your friends, how you see yourself, who are your friends. So your place in the world does have to change. Now, why is this important? Makes sense to me. You know, a lot of times, you know, you Sages, you're very friendly. And uh, if you're going to go be an artist, that means all of your drinking lawyer friends are going to have to go, or you're not going to see them, or you're not going to see them as much, or you'll see them in AA. But it's going to be different. And so emotionally, taking and honoring your inner child does mean a, a shift in thinking, which is part of Saturn retrograde, which will go direct later. Also, as the moon moves into Cancer, some real fears with boundaries. And again, look at this, the money issue, getting hit with boundaries the money issue, getting hit with inner child issues. So this is where you see sometimes uh, an issue. You can literally see human consciousness and how it is wired together within us with the planets. Fascinating stuff. I love it. Don't forget, SG Live is live on Fridays. And Carolyn Engel and myself are diving in in a very deep 90-minute way on Aries and Courage. And we've got Bernadette Morgan, our Zodiac Director, Soul Mart Practitioner of Courage herself. She's got a class in development right now that's exciting. But come check us out. If you can't catch us live in our chat rooms and watching the video, well, we do record it. Then on Saturday, things really shake up. It's like shake up Saturday. Um, well, we should be shaking. God's given us a finger twice this week. And in one case, that comes to a head. So uh, you will have to really recognize what this means uh, socially as a consequence. The soul pyramid breaks apart. Notice this green line here. It has disappeared due to what we call an orb difference. But what this means is well, your daily life gets a little bit of a rattle on Saturday and your career gets a little bit of a rattle on Saturday. So those two things rattle because of just, I think, change going on. At the end of the day, it's all finding balance, 11. And so things are going to fall into a nice uh, uh, healing energy if everything just kind of shakes apart. The moon is still focused on boundaries, so you're hypersensitive to boundaries as all this is going on. So you really got to kind of just remind yourself to lock the doors and those types of things because you're extra conscious of boundaries, more so than usual, which might make you want to resist the change. So don't. 
You know, don't, because I told you not to. Then on Sunday, uh, your ruling planet Jupiter rules the day. So things perk up, you're happy, it's sunny days, it's rainbows. You found you fell in love with someone last night at the bar. It's all good now, right? And you are moving forward and feeling good about it all. The moon is in Leo, so that helps. So emotions have now shifted to fire just like you. So you're in your heart, you're philosophical. Sunday is definitely a great day. If you're a spiritual person, go to church, it will inspire you, I believe, on Sunday. Okay, my Sagittarian archers, that's all we have for now. Be sure to come on down to soulgrown.me network, do a drive-by, and I will see you in seven days with more. Until then, live, love, be.